Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of the greatest reality show that's not on television. We'll get to that in a second. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending where you're watching this and whatever part of the world. Welcome to another day. Happy Monday. Hope everybody uh, did well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe, come aboard, right? Join us on a, on a daily mission of independence, clear thinking, and unbiased uh, approach. So let's talk about the market, right? I, I think, and I, I tweeted this out about I don't know, an hour ago, half hour ago, that I don't think that most new traders um, really understand or really understood uh, the importance of today's rally. Okay, let's kind of go back uh, a couple of data points, right? Last week, number one, we've been basing below the 20 day moving average for uh, two weeks. We closed below the 50 day moving average. And if we watch, if you watch the video, uh, over the weekend, I said the bulls basically have one or two days, literally one or two days to kind of get their act together and reclaim back the 50 day moving average, because if they don't, there's going to be a problem. Did I think we were going to reclaim the 50 day moving average today? Probably not, right? Probably not. Uh, last week, every single inflation data point got faded. Everything looked dismal. We gapped down today after gapping up on the futures yesterday. And this is why I just said it. This is the greatest reality show that's not on television. There's no scripts. There's no actors. Uh, you could only plan out. You, you could only set a game plan for the next day. Okay. You, you can't control the price action. You don't know definitively what's going to happen. You could only, you know, you could only approach it in a very responsible, uh, fiscally responsible way. And any, any traders that tells you, they know definitively what's going to happen for the next day. They're not doing, I don't know what they're doing, but we're not, they're not doing what we're doing, right? And we all know as traders, expect the unexpected. We don't know what's going to happen. We're going to plan for it. Our data is going to be right. Hopefully it's going to play out that way. But to say definitively, I knew this was going to happen. If you, if any trader this, this evening or, you know, at any point of the day, knew that we were going to rally, that person's an amateur. There's no possible way on on, greeds, on God's green earth after closing below the 50-day moving average, anybody should have said we were going to rally today. But again, it is what it is. Uh, the market uh, did what it had to do. It gapped down today. Uh, it held the previous day's low, and that's what exactly needed to confirm. It held the previous day's low, and then we just exploded. But the craziest part about today's session was how many times that we reclaimed the 50 day moving average and then lost it. If, and I, we, we were kind of going down a uh, memory lane uh, in the webinar today about when we, when we had that line in the sand in 2022 and we were joking around, but it felt like that day that the 50 day moving average was lost and reclaimed 20 times throughout the day. Today, it wasn't that dramatical, but it did feel like it was at least five, 10 times that the Qs reclaimed the 50 day and then lost them and then reclaimed the 50 day and then lost them again. Just an absolute crazy wild ride. And every, you know, anything that you thought you knew or you potentially had a grip on today completely went the opposite way. I had a very weird day today. Um, I scalped a couple of things at the open. I tried to short the Qs. Um, here's kind of, here's kind of where I tried to short the Qs into the 50 day moving average, right? I felt maybe let's see if they can come back to the 50. If it hits the 50, I think it should fade. The problem was I shorted the cues into the 50 day. Um, they went down a little bit, right? They went down a little bit, stopped me out. I only lost 30 cents. It, was, it wasn't it, like 30, 33 cents. It wasn't the point of the money. And then the cues came in like a dollar fifty. And I was like, oh God, this is ridiculous. And I, I missed a couple of I missed a couple of really good rejections today on Tesla. I caught one rejection today on Tesla. Uh NVIDIA today was an absolute monster. I, I think that's the best way of saying it. So I didn't know there was an upgrade, right? I didn't know there was an upgrade on NVIDIA today. And this is the first one that kind of just went just went bonkers. Uh, I know a lot of you guys in the webinar 
uh, took the 412 pivot. I did not. The reason why I didn't take it, I didn't think for a second, you know, once we were still building and trying to, you know, confirm Friday's channel that we were gonna, we were going to rally today. For a second, I didn't think so. So I didn't take this pivot. And the damn thing goes up $9 right away, like literally $9 right away. I even shorted NVIDIA. How crazy is this? I even shorted NVIDIA into supply. It goes down 50, 70 cents instantly, right? Comes back, stops me out. Again, after slippage, I lost like another 20, like 30 cents or so. It wasn't, again, it wasn't a big deal one way or another. And then it ran up another 20 points. So just an absolute chaos. Um, just, you know, it was absolute chaos day. I, ironically today, uh, ironically, we actually did get some pretty good value to the downside today. Tesla, there was three separate rejections. Um, I think a total of like five, six points. The problem is I only caught one of them, like a dollar and change or so. But ultimately, I, I think the most important part is, and this is kind of where I started uh, the, the started the recording of, I said most traders, most new traders probably didn't realize how significant today was. And on the close today, if you look at the queues, I said we needed to reclaim. You guys remember what I said we needed to reclaim 69 on the close, right? So we, we reclaimed 69 on the close. They reclaimed the 50-day. They reclaimed the five-day moving average. Because again, if we would have continued to be building below the 50-day moving average, it would have just been a matter of time until we swan dive. So kudos to the bulls, man. Kudos to the bulls. I really didn't get anything going today. Like, like I said, I had a couple of a uh, couple of scalps. I, I scalped the uh, Medite opening range low. It went down about a buck and change. Uh, I scalped um, some um, some uh, Tesla on the on the rejection, but I missed the video. Actually, I didn't miss the video. I just don't want to do the video. Uh, why don't you guys tell me it was in a run of thirty points? Right, you guys are so rude. So I didn't do the video. Um, I really didn't do it in the video, and I I, I tried to short. Uh, the cues and the video into supply. Both of them, I lost like 30 cents. They're really not a big deal. So I really didn't get anything going today. Uh, but moral of the story is, and this is kind of what we talk about, the bigger picture, kind of taking a step back and looking at everything uh, in a wider lens. At least we know that the market reclaimed back a massive, massive level, right? An absolute massive level. Because again, if we would have been having a day two conversation that we closed below the 50-day moving average, I think it was just been a matter of time uh, that we would have gotten the swan dive. Now the question is, well, can the bulls live with prosperity, right? That's the thing. That's the only question going into tomorrow's session. Can we continue to build on today's rally? We have to, right? The last thing we want to do is tomorrow night have a conversation. Can you believe after that whole big rally, we reclaimed the 50, we reclaimed the five, we gave it all back, right? We don't want to have that conversation. We want to have the conversation, hey, Stocks did a phenomenal job. The bulls did re reclaim, and now we have to build on the levels that we reclaim today. And that's a very, very important thing. So obviously going into tomorrow, yeah, you want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. We'll probably be down 500 points tomorrow, but you want to, all jokes aside, we want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. So if you look at uh, the charts that are setting up for tomorrow, right? You got, look at, you know, Amazon, right? Amazon looks great. This thing looks like it's ready to, to, to wake up. NVIDIA after a 75 point rally or felt that, that way, right? Look, look at the video. NVIDIA reclaimed today the 100, the 50, the 10 day, the, the five day moving average, and after hours is trying to reclaim the 10. So we want to watch NVIDIA tomorrow, right? We want to watch NVIDIA if he can give uh, a day to run. You know, who knows? If, if NVIDIA can reclaim back the 10 day moving average tomorrow, maybe this thing has another 10, 11 points, right? Because the 10 day moving average is roughly around what, 438 or so? If it starts reclaiming 438, the way it traded today, why can't it go back to 450? So just an absolute incredible day. Uh, I think I think people you know, were, were expecting one thing, it went the other. The only good thing that we didn't do today, right? And, 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 I, and I, I was talking through m with my buddies, uh, guys that I've been trading with you know, since 1999. The one good thing that nobody did today was short into the spike. That's the one thing. If you guys remember um, a couple of weeks ago, we had this nasty reversal and the market started going up. A lot of my friends got really killed. Like there was shorting, shorting the move and they got run over. At least today, everybody was patient. At least everybody that I knew was patient. Uh, nobody was shorting just because, well, we didn't, we didn't think the market can, can go higher. And now we have a bigger picture lined up for tomorrow's session. And if everything goes well, and if the bulls, uh, and if the bulls start building above today's, uh, today's channels, right? Maybe we could actually start stretching back and ultimately... Uh, and this is the key level what the bulls need to do. The big level now for the Qs, they need to reclaim. Obviously, they need to get above uh, today's highs and start building higher. 
But for us to get a little bit risk on kind of overnight, so I, and again, I think it's a little bit too premature for today. And I, and I, the way the market looks, looks great for tomorrow. But it's a little bit premature to start putting on overnights just because, again, I want to see the market get above the 10 day. Now that we got above the 50, got above the five, did a short term sentiment, I'd like to see the bulls get above like 72 on the close. If we can get above 272 on the Qs, then we can start looking at a little bit more uh, risk for a potential. Uh, overnight exposure. So let me give you guys some ideas for tomorrow. Again, we talked about Amazon. Uh, keep an eye on Amazon. All it needs to do is just get above this channel here. You see this whole range here? One, two, three, four, five. Tomorrow's day six. If it can just get above this range here, Amazon looks pretty good. Uh, look at Google, right? Google, if you look at Google's setup and Amazon setup, it's kind of the same thing. Look at Google here. Look at above this range here. If it could get above this range here and clear out about a week, week and a half worth of selling, maybe Google wakes up as well. Uh, let me give you guys a couple more names that I'm watching for tomorrow. Uh, da, 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 da. Look at AAOI. Uh, we had this AAOI a couple of times uh, last week. We had it on this breakout. We had it on this breakout. Keep an eye on this thing. If this thing, if AAOI starts building above today's range, uh, maybe this thing finally goes. And Roku, let me give you one more. Look at Roku, right? So Roku had this phenomenal, phenomenal run into earnings. You guys remember that? We had a really, really good uh, secondary continuation trade on Roku. Roku finally woke up today. I mean, everything else woke up today also, but Roku woke up today and closed above the five-day moving average, right? This is literally the first sign of life, uh, the first sign of life since its earnings highs. If Roku can just confirm the five-day moving average, maybe it gets a second, a third day, a very aggressive run to the 10-day moving average. So again, if the bulls want to run, the table is set. They did a wonderful, wonderful job today. Um, obviously, you know, we were prepared for the downside, uh, the downside didn't play out because nothing confirmed. The Bulls did a great job. It's like a goalie with a stick save. They did a wonderful, wonderful job. And like I, I've, I've always kind of uh, used this reference when we have a reversal and we stocks to re kind of reclaim. It's like the old heavy D song, right? Now that we found love, what are we going to do, right? The Bulls found love. What are you going to do with it, right? Don't drop the ball, guys. Don't drop the ball. Let's see if we can continue tomorrow's action. Guys, uh, for all you guys who've been, uh, just a one last announcement for all you guys who have been uh, wandering around pivots or want to see if it was the right fit for you, we're having a, a three-day a three uh, a three day, uh, back-to-school kind of pre-Labor uh, Day uh, sale. It's 47 bucks. Uh, come in, it's 47 bucks for 30 days in the webinars. Kick the tires, see the pivots in real time, You know, get all the other goodies uh, in, the, in the webinar that I can't really talk about here. Uh, but you know, see if it's right for you. Uh, not everything is right for everybody, but again, the point is we, in your first two, three years of development, you want to try out every single shoe because you want to see the one that fits your foot perfectly. Guys, have a great night. Hopefully I'll see a lot of uh, new faces uh, the next couple of days. Look forward to working with you and God's help. I'll see you on tomorrow night's video. Take care, guys.